Well, most people think of waste disposal once you flush the toilet or once you throw your bag in the garbage, out of sight, out of mind. But I think it's something that people need to really understand because something needs to be done with waste so that when it goes back into the environment, it, it can assimilate and not have a negative impact. The fundamental purpose of the MCUA is environmental protection. We operate the wastewater treatment plant, we operate the landfill, both of which protect the environment, but also provide social and economic benefits to the people that we serve. Most people don't realize that the average resident in Middlesex generates about four pounds of trash a day in the Middlesex County landfill. We bury about 1,800 tons of trash daily. The wastewater each person uses on average about 100 gallons of water a day, so from 800,000, you get about 80 million gallons of, of wastewater just from a general use by the population. So we're treating the equivalent of a uh, super tanker worth of wastewater every day. One of the things that the MCO is actually doing is taking waste products and putting them to beneficial use. The wastewater treatment uh, process actually utilizes uh, methane gas from the landfill to generate electricity for its operation. There's really very few wastewater treatment plants in the world that can claim to be completely self-sustaining as far as power is concerned. The MCUA setup is, is in fact state-of-the-art, so it's kind of a closed system with each division functioning together with the intent of minimizing impact to the environment. When a truck arrives at Middlesex County Landfill, the first thing it does is go to the scale where we will process whatever kind of material it is. And assuming it's refuse, it's going to go to the work phase, and that's the actual exposed trash. Basically what we do is we try to squeeze as much garbage in the smallest spaces available. And how we do that is we have machines called landfill compactors. They weigh about 90,000 pounds, and the idea is to just crush up the garbage and pack it in there as tight as we can. That serves a few different things. A, it breaks the garbage bags up, which will help with decomposition, and B, it enables us to maximize the lifespan of the facility. The refuse will start to break down within a few weeks of actually being in the landfill. This process, uh, this anaerobic decomposition, is a natural process. And then in this landfill, in all landfills, the predominant decomposition is done by methogen bacteria. And they give off two gases that we're very interested in, carbon dioxide and methane, CH4. The actual landfill gas uh, that's generated at the Middlesex County Landfill is withdrawn from the landfill with vacuum pumps that actually suck the gas out of the landfill and convey it to the wastewater treatment plant where we can actually use it for generating electricity and gas turbines. The benefit of the landfill gas energy project, the generation of electricity, reduces our electrical cost here at wastewater treatment plant and also reduces the emissions at, uh, at the landfill of greenhouse gases from otherwise discharging the gas into the atmosphere. We are generating approximately over 300,000 kilowatt hours of energy a day, which is about the amount of energy that 10 to 12,000 homes use on, a, uh, on any given day. The electricity is used to power pumps throughout the plant. Uh, it's also used in our aeration tanks for mixing the wastewater with oxygen, which we also generate on site. This oxygen is used by organisms in our secondary treatment step of the plant to treat the uh, wastewater. To us, these materials are, are waste materials. To these organisms, are a food source. So we're basically mimicking what happens in, in nature by what we're doing here in the treatment plant. But every day, we collect samples to let us know how well the uh, treatment plant is operating. We add sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach for disinfection. So by the time the water leaves the, uh, the treatment plant, it, it looks clean, it, it smells clean, and it's basically the same as the river water. first things we do is concentrate all those solids. We add lime to, the, uh, to these materials, create a synthetic looking material that we call metal life. It's a uh, soil-like material. Uh, that soil-like material is then used at the landfill to cover garbage. One of the big misconceptions about landfill is that it's actually an open sore of trash, but at the end of every day, all the garbage is covered. I believe that 
because it's a state-of-the-art facility that it provides the residents with a certain uh, level of comfort and that they know that their refuse is being handled safely and in a manner that minimizes impact to the environment.